Good morning, Victory Word. Good morning. Good morning. It's another good day to have a God day. I love you to life. Christ Jesus loves you all the more. So we're live right now here in a remote location instead of at the temple today. We just thank everyone for for supporting us, supporting my mother as we uh, laid to rest my dad on yesterday. And so today we're we're here at the at the house. But it's first Sunday and we still have to go forth and we just thank God for who he is. Not only for who he is, but for what he means to all of us, especially in this season. We just thank God. And so we'll, we're just going to have a short service this morning. I had to touch Victory Word today and all those connected to us to let you know that we're doing well. We're thankful to God for what he's already done. And so Victory Word, we want to say thank you. We love you. We love our family, the Spiritual Israel Church and the Army family for yes. coming out and being such great support to their pastor, to their bishop. Thank all of the bishops and elders that came out and supported and all of this church family from Temple Number 2 and all of the other surrounding temples that came out. But we'd also like to thank uh, our families from Victory Word Church for being so very supportive to us as well. Mm -hmm. And we're just thankful that we're still, although we're going through, we're not through going. Yes. So Pastor T is with me this morning, my ride or die, <laughs> and she's going to give uh, you know, our announcements and things, and we'll go forth. Amen. 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 Good morning, Victory Word. Despite it all, it still is another good day to have a God day. Yes. We are so thankful and we are so blessed for the um, the covering and the the overflow of love and support um, bestowed upon us during this unprecedented time. We're just so thankful because it has truly lifted us. Your love has truly lifted us, and we are so grateful and thankful. Um, but we still have a vision, right? Yes. So the yes. victory word vision, amen? Yeah. We want you to prepare to... Go with us as we recite our vision. Should be coming on the screen shortly. All right, here we go. The Victory Word Church sure. is a place, place where, where you will experience, experience freedom, freedom in worship, connection, connection with, with others through, through life-giving relationships, relationships, compassion for the lost, and the teachings of God's Word and love. A place where lives are being changed, Hurts are being healed and hope is being restored. We are empowering lives to live purposely for him. Amen. 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 As you can see, I'm glad Pastor T had it on her tablet because <laughs> Pastor Mike is, doesn't have on his glasses and he couldn't find them this morning. So bear with your pastor this morning amen amen, amen. amen. <laughs> also i want to shout out to my pastor pastor dl harville mm -hmm. and new life ministries worldwide thank yes. you for all of your prayers thank you pastor for just checking on us making sure everything is good and, and as always pouring into our spirit amen. Amen. amen amen um our quote of the week you can't keep getting mad at people for sucking the life out of you if you keep giving them a straw. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> oh, Lord, I'm going to go back and lay down again because that, that, that's, the, that's the word for the day. Uh, the benediction Ooh. is coming forth. Uh, amen. So would you say that again, Pastor T? You cannot keep getting mad at people for sucking the life out of you. If you keep giving them the straw. Amen. Amen. Do away with the straws. Put away <laughs> straws. Amen. Put away straws. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and again, on behalf of the Olive family and myself, we just really, really, really thank you for um, the support of our, and the passing of our Papa, Bishop William Oliver. Um, it's just, uh, 
it, it, it's a hard pill to swallow and we're still dealing with it. We're still trying to come to terms with it, but you know, uh, it's a, it was in God's hands and, Amen. and we, we're just thankful to have the life that the, the, the years that we've had with him, we're Amen. thankful. We're thankful. We're thankful for him keeping our mother still in the land of living and the reasonable portion of her health and strength yeah. and a good and strong mind. Amen. Amen. She is determined to live. So we're thankful for her mindset. Amen. And because of her being as strong as she is, it has really helped us. Yes. Yes. yes it yes. has helped us, kept us going, knowing that if she can make it through this, this situation, losing her her soulmate of 53, 52 and yes. a half years. Right, right. And we, as the children, we have to keep going forth. And she is an example, true example of, of being able to overcome obstacles. And we know she's going to mm-hmm. have some rough days, but yes. guess what? We'll be right here with her. That's right. As those days come. That's Amen. Right. That's right. I want to send out a shout out to those who had gave us food. Oh um, my gosh. <laughs> Over this week, Thanks catering for food. these cheeks. Oh Thank my. you, guys. <laughs> for, oh, just last week. Um, I can't just say this is COVID weight. Pastor has picked up these last few days either. But mm. I'm, we're just thankful for everyone took time out to pick up the phone, calling my mother, yes. calling us, mm-hmm. sending food, uh, cards coming in the mail mm-hmm. from all across the country from mm-hmm. from her loved ones from the spiritualism church and its army yes. and we just we just love you those send out calls and things to uh elder mark and and, and minister sinitra mm-hmm. and just our family as a whole we yes. just thank everyone that came through yesterday yes. Yes. i know a lot of you wanted to see mom but we didn't want her to be in the, out in the public too long, right. especially with this virus and the numbers going up every day. Yes, so yes. we're just thankful yes. that we were able to to properly per, per, pay tribute to our Father. Yes, Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Um, I think that's all I have. Well, just remember, we're this not is, we're no longer using um, Cash App. Right. You know, so as we prepare for your giving, your um, tithes offering, your heave is heave Sunday. Amen. Um, remember, if you haven't already, to download the Giveify app. Um, you can just go to your, um, what's this, uh, the, the place where you, your store, where you get the apps from and download it. And this look for Victory Word Church, Detroit, Michigan. Amen. Amen. Remember, you can't be God's giving. But you sure can try, okay? Amen. <laughs> we thank you. In order to keep this ministry going, we need your support. So yes. please continue to support. We know we're living in some challenging times, but we find time and money to do whatever else we want to do. So please continue to put God first. Think of God yeah. first and his house first, and he'll take care of your house. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. I Amen. guess I want to pastor anything else. No, I just wanted to thank, thank everyone, really. Just we love you, uh, uh, myself, Pastor T, my mother, First Lady Oliver. We love you. The grandchildren love you. The great grands love you, Pastor T. We're getting a little older now, so yeah, you sure are, Pastor. Well, yeah. Amen. Yeah. We thank God. I know I have a birthday thank coming God. up, but yeah, you getting older. Thank old. God. And <laughs> see, she just let, allowed me to segue <laughs> in. Let us wish our First Lady mm-hmm. and co-pastor T, her birthday is this coming Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So let's wish December the 8th will be her birthday. Mm-hmm. We we're trying to go out of town for our 25th anniversary. That didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Birthday is not. It's not. But 2021, there's a brighter day ahead. <laughs> As my dad would always say, mm-hmm. there's a brighter day ahead. So yes, yes, we're yes. looking forward to many more birthdays, many more uh, anniversaries. And my mother has a birthday coming up next month in January. So we're going to show love and continue to pour out love to our loved ones. Amen. And also Minister Steve. Minister Steve Donaldson. Tuesday. Yes, his birthday Tuesday. My birthday twin. Yes. (laughs) Yes. So. Right. Right. We're just, as we, as we just, uh, reflect, we're just being thankful. Yes. 
thankful because you don't know what's going to happen. All you can do is trust God and believe that he'll do just what he said. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. Pastor Key. Um, just continue to remember um, our prayers of purpose list. You know, I, I didn't want to go through it all today. We were just going to be short today, but we continually pray for each and every one um, on our prayers of purpose list, our um, sister churches, our family members that are grieving, our, our just, covering, our covering. Yes, we continue to keep everyone lifted in prayer daily. So you please also do the same. Continue to keep each and every one of us in your prayers, especially our pastors and our leaders. Amen. Amen. As I always say, they are frontliners too. So continue to keep them lifted so that they can continue to do God's work to lift others. Amen. 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 That is, I think, all I have. Just remember to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. I promise you it will bless you. So tune in to Victory Word Church on Facebook. There's always something good there for you. Amen. Well, Victory Word, you know I couldn't just let it go today without giving you some kind of word. Not some kind, but a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 But before we go into the word, let us pray. Most gracious Father, we come before you first and foremost, always saying thank you, Lord. Thank you for our ups. We thank you for hope carrying us when we fall down. Yes. Lord, we thank you just because not only are you our Father, but you, not only are you our God, but you are our Father, yes. and holy is your name. And so, Father, we thank you for this day. And even though we're going through, we're not through going. Yes. We bless your name and we praise you. And so now, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, my Redeemer and my God. Yes. That is my prayer, and it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is and so, it is so. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you would go with me to Second uh, Timothy, second chapter, starting at the 14th verse, this scripture, uh, the Holy Spirit woke me up and told me to go to this this morning. And so I'm sharing, I'm not going to preach too much, just give you some pastoral observations, what I gleaned from this, from this word, and then... Let you enjoy this day. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy, read. I'm reading from the NIV uh, translation. It says, keep reminding God's people of these things. This is 2 Timothy 2, 14. Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Their teaching will spread like gangrene. Hmm. Among them are Harmonius and, and Philetus, who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, mm. sealed with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his mm -hmm. and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. My God. Victory word. And Facebook family, stop quarreling or arguing with people who are not willing to change, don't want to hear the word of God, want to do it their way, mm. and you're trying to fix something that you didn't break. Wow. Uh, there are mm. so many people out want titles and fame and all of these things. And this word today says you got to turn from wickedness, yes, yes, yes. wicked thoughts. You have to, to allow God to fix whatever is wrong because you can't fix it. Right. As Pastor T said earlier, stop giving them the straw. <laughs> 
Stop allowing people to suck the life out of you. Yes. And I've learned in these last couple of months dealing with our challenges with uh, my mom and dad. You have to, when you focus, you don't allow outside noise mm -hmm. to dictate what's going to happen in your spirit. Come on, come on. You cannot allow uh, allow outside. Some people never going to change. Some things are always going to be that way. And why waste your time, your precious time, quarreling with someone who doesn't even know that they had that they're they're losing out on time? Hmm. Hmm. You My wasting gosh. time with a person who don't even value time. Right. So you're wasting your time and they've been wasting their time. So why should you two people lose out <laughs> on one person's foolishness? Mm, 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 say that. I feel like preaching, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to go into all of that today. Today oh. I'm just going to enjoy this day with my mother, my family, relax. We're going to reminisce, think about my dad, have a smile on my face because I want you to know this, Victory Word. You be careful for what you ask for because mm -hmm. a lot of times you choose your own burden. Whoa. You choose your burdens. Jeez. Some folks that I know, that I love, have chosen to be burdened. My God. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Live. Love. Laugh. Enjoy this season is coming up and in our family tragedy shows up during this season. But I'm not going to let the devil win and just be gloom and doom. No, I'm not. I'm going to tell the Lord, thank you. I raise my hands and yes, say thank you yes, yes. for what you've done. As my dad would say, down through the years, God's been good to me. Yes. So, victory word before I get choked up. We just ask that you just continue to pray for us. Yes. We love you. And we'll see you next week. That is our prayer. Yes. And remember, we're living our future now. Yeah. God bless you.